another little experiment with jesmonite and alcohol inks, but this time it will be a little different since I it will be a swipe with my alcohol inks. See you in a second! Hello! I hope you are well and welcome to my new subscribers. So today we are going to do another experiment with jesmonite and alcohol inks. I'm always inspired by Claire from Claire's Crafty Corner. <laughs> she is my main inspiration. <laughs> so I already made this coaster just in jesmonite, very simple. I used the coaster molds from Molds and Shapes. I'm putting all of the links in the description box below the video. Here I prepare my jesmonite at the same time because as you know, the working time is very short with this product. <laughs> After making the coaster, I had some product left over, so I made uh, the little heart you can see. I don't know if I'll decorate it today. Well, we'll see if it works. I don't really have the same tool that Claire uses to make the swipe. Uh, let's, let's just say uh, I have one, but I use it a lot in my kitchen. <laughs> I'll try to find one when uh, I go shopping and uh, I will use it for the jasmonite if I like the result and uh, especially if I can do it. I have to avoid getting lumps and uh, I can see some but uh, by the way Claire uh, to avoid that she is training her jasmonite through a, a small colander. So here I spread my jasmonite on top of my coaster. I try to cover it all, uh, all up because, uh, as you know, jasmonite doesn't level like epoxy. Now let's go to the inks. I, I was hesitant to use a metallic color, but as you saw in a previous video, it, it doesn't really work well. So I just use normal uh, alcohol inks. Now the delicate moment, <laughs> you have to pass uh, the chosen tool very very lightly over the inks, so as not to press uh, them into the jasmonite, otherwise uh, they will disappear completely. I uh, choose this silicone serrated brush, but mm, I see it's a bit heavy it seems. Um, it's not great, and my purple not great either, and oops, well, here is the mistake, the marabou bottles do not open the same way as the piñata, and I'm regularly tricked. <laughs> Yes, uh, this bottle open like that by pulling the cap and the others you have to unscrew. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it's my first try, right? <laughs> Live with you, so don't blame me if it's a bit of a failure. <laughs> I'm going to move a bit to see if I can cover the side. Um, but um, it's... no, no, it's not easy at all. Mm. And I can see I have uh, a few little lumps. If I do this technique again, I'll do like Claire. I'll put my jasmonite in a strainer to avoid lumps. And I'll check my alcohol inks because it seems to me that my violet is no longer the freshest. <laughs> well, let it dry. Uh, I, w I will see if it gives something, but I have a doubt. Uh, the small earth uh, we shall see uh, next time. <laughs> Well, it's only a test. I did well not to make four of them, but just one. See you in a second. Okay, here we are. Well, we can say that it is a failure. <laughs> it's failed, yes. My silicon brush doesn't go uh, at all. I must also be very careful with my inks because I have uh, some that are really hard. And you can see that on the sides there are parts that are not covered uh, since it's not like epoxy that spreads everywhere. So for me um, it's ugly. Yes, it's ugly. <laughs> I'll uh, probably probably give it another try using a different swipe tool. I'll use uh, the same one as Claire. Well, for now you have mostly seen my mistakes. <laughs> if you are still here, thank you for watching. Don't forget the little thumbs up. See you soon. Bye!